Welcome to PC Gaming Tech Summary. I'm your host, Gamer. And today we talk about Alder Lake 12th Gen Intel CPUs and motherboards and DDR5 RAM preparing for its arrival. Yes, well, actually, um, DDR5, I've seen pricing around anywhere from 466 plus tax all the way up to almost $800. And that's for different types of DDR5 RAM. And uh, the motherboards are going to cost more. Um, so you have to choose between DDR4 or DDR5, as far as I know. Um, this time around, I haven't heard anyone um, combining the two onto one board. Um, they've done that, similar things, ASRock did that in the past where they had DDR3 and DDR4. So they had um, two slots for DDR4. And then if you didn't want to use uh, DDR4, then you could use DDR3 on the other two slots. Um, and if anyone's brave enough to do that, I don't know. I think it would be awesome. Probably sell more boards than other people. But, um, so... We are going to go through um, a list of items to help prepare for Alder Lake. Um, and I will discuss about DDR4 RAM and the other bits and pieces that you may need. Um, and that's whether you're building from scratch a brand new um, um, PC or you're just uh, switching some parts around. So we'll go through the list. And um, I've gone through and, and looked at the, the quality, making sure th good quality um, parts and um, best bang for buck. So um, sit right back, have a cup of coffee, and we'll get into it. Let's start with chassis, with PC cases. Um, I'm also going to give you some parts for white build. So here's the Be Quiet Pure Base 500DX available in white and black. It's got pre-installed Be Quiet fans in it and it um, um, has a theme of keeping the noise level down. So um, there you have it. Next we have Corsair 220T in black and white. Yes, a um, bit of RGB there. Corsair tends to make um, good quality cases. Okay, so next we've got the Thermaltake Commander C34 with two beautiful 200 millimeter fans in the front and one RGB fan in the back. Oh, that looks like a case I'd like to play with. All right. So next, we will go on to power supplies. We've got the Corsair RMX White Series RM850X 850 watts. Yes, why are we going with 850 watts? Well, um, next, at the end of next year, there's going to be some new NVIDIA graphics cards coming out and they're going to go up to about 600 watts. So I think it's best we get uh, 850 in there uh, to help cover um, the increase in wattage. Okay, next, we've got a black Corsair PSU. Gold as well. Now, we've got some um, 2400 RAM. We've got the Dark Z, the team group, um, and that's at a good price. Yes, and it's got those um, heat sink, the heat spreaders on it as well. Now, if you need the RGB on your RAM, well, I think that in your white case or black case, you could use either of these kits of RAM. The um, RGB, of course, you're not going to really be paying attention to the black when those lights are flashing. So um, the previous RAM was gray, so that's right in between white and black. So I think there's good pricing on both of those. Next, we have the SanDisk Ultra SATA SSD, the two and a half inch. Yes, 
these are good quality drives, the Ultra. You have to get the Ultra. You can't get the other one because it's, they're not as good, all right? I've had the Ultra for three years now, and I'm using it as my operating system drive, and it's at 97% of its life after three years. Um, I've been using it for about the last year as uh, my operating system drive, and before that it was used as games drive. Um, and yeah, no issues with that baby at all, and it's got good benchmarks on it as well. Okay, let's move on to um, NVMe. Yes, so we're going with the Western Digital. Yes, the NVMe. Best bang for buck um, there. Now, we have the Seagate 2 terabyte Barracuda Q5. That drive I personally have, and it is fantastic at rights. Okay, um, I've been using it as my games drive, um, and um, I, in the future I'm gonna use it as, a, I think, a video editing drive as well, just to see how it goes. But um, I'm very happy with that Seagate 2 terabyte. Um, yeah. Thanks for joining us here on PC Gaming Tech Summary. And don't forget, you'll be seeing me in the next video.